As you can see, I'm in the Micah 1.20.1 and I'm using OptiForge. So if you want to know how to download and install OptiForge 1.20.1, this is the right video for you, so stay tuned and watch the full video. Hey guys, welcome to my new video. I will show you how to download OptiForge in Minecraft 1.20. So we should get right into that right now. The first step for us is to actually download the mod we uh, need to have for the OptiForge. So go to the video description, there's the download link, okay? So click on that, it will take you to my website. And as you can see, I have made a full article on how to install OptiForge OptiForge mode for Maker 1.21. I'm sorry, I'm speaking too much. I'm st just too speedy today, I don't know why. And uh, once we get here, you don't have to read the full article if you don't want, but in case you want uh, to read it because it's maybe better for you, uh, you can do it and then just scroll down and then you, you will get to the download section and download these two files because we will need it. Then take these files and drop it on the desktop just like I did. Right now we need to get to the roaming folder. So how do I get into the roaming folder? It's really easy. Go to the Windows search bar, type in percent and data percent, hit enter. It will instantly open up the roaming folder for us. So, go to the .minecraft and once we get here, go to the mods folder and you need to take the Optifine and drop it in here. Go back and scroll down to versions. Open it and uh, we need to double click on Forge 1.20.1. So do that please and the uh, window will appear for us. As you can see it says 1.20.1 Forge 47.1.1 and that's what we need to install. So hit install client and hit OK. Then we need to wait a couple of seconds. It usually takes 5 to 10 seconds and it will be installed and uh, we can or no, not we can, but we have to check the version folder if we have 1.20.1 in it there. So as you can see, it says successfully installed client profile. And now we have to check if 1.20.1 is here. So find forge. I, I'm blind. Oh, it's here. So 1.20.1 forge is here. In case you don't have it in here, you need to reinstall everything. So we can delete everything and go to the Minecraft launcher. Once we get in here, just make sure that you use Forge 1.20.1 and hit play. Yes, I understand the risks and again hit play. Then we need to wait until we are in the Minecraft menu. From there I'll show you that I'm already using OptiForge. As you can see it's, it's showing the loading screen and it looks completely different so <clears throat> that means we have forge and optifine as well it's called optiforge together so then we will get to the single player board i'll show you that i can have the shaders as well as you can see micro one fanny dot one and go to the single player world choose your world and that means in we are in the single player and uh, it's, it's working uh, properly. As you can see, I don't have any issues in here. So, oh sorry, I totally forget to show you the shaders and that it's working. So, as you can see, I'm still in the Micro 1.21 Forge. And we can also turn on some shaders. So, let me use Rethinking Voxels. Uh, yes, it will... Uh, look weird because I have already said goodbye to you and then I for, uh, forgot about the shaders and stuff like that so it will look just weird don't mind it please in the edit so micro 1 that one that one forge and uh, I'm using uh, shaders and it's working without any issues so thank you so much guys again and I'll see you in the next one